state history, but like with yeah. child support, highest child support in New York state history. Yeah. And then because I was so confused and that wasn't the first time I heard that, but if I'm raising your kid, yeah, you get Justin from time to time or whatever. And yeah, Justin was with you, how he tries to make it seem like all the time or a lot. At minimum, you should make sure that, and it's it, again, we're not married. It's not his responsibility. But if you got access and you know what I'm trying to do and you see me down bad, you know, some people will really, they wouldn't look down. They would try to lift somebody up. And so mm -hmm. he can't say anything about her career or how he was responsible for it because you were not. She really picked herself up by the bootstraps and, and got it out the mud. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm like even if it was just like, hey, I I can't, you know, help you like that or whatever. But you can make sure we got a place to stay. And at that time, I'm trying to think if if Kim by the and it, it, it might not even cross Misa's mind because by that time, you know, she was dating somebody else. But mm -hmm. some people would just look out just allegedly certain night, allegedly certain night. <laughs> oh, that other that other girl. No, Misa. Misa. Well, no, 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 no. She, you know, she has a daughter. I know, but I'm saying, but allegedly, but, Suge Knight was dating her, like, because uh, 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 Suge Knight's a petty one, too. Oh, okay. I don't too. even know nothing about that. Yeah, yeah, that's, all, all, all my hip-hop heads know about that. Uh, <laughs> allegedly, that was alleged. That was definitely alleged. So, I think, I think that's the most frustrating thing about it all, is just that the way that people are trying to or is it alleged it's Gene because the Gene Dills is the one that said this. So is it alleged at this point? Do we just take Gene Dills? Gene's Gene, Gene Dills said that she was messing with uh Suge. So now I'm thinking I'm thinking in my head. I'm sorry. Should I say allegedly if Gene Dill says it? It might be true. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, that's funny. Hey, I know Gene Gene Dill. Gene Dill, look, y'all need to be running up his books or his streams. I'm subscribed to his podcast. I'm running it up with Gene. <laughs> I just so I so let's take a step back. Yep. I just want to go back to Cola Booth saying that yep. Diddy tried to make Kim lick Cassie's tampon. See, I don't want to get into that because that's when you get like super conjecturist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just need the, the high level details. I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> no, I need that. No, 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 no. I didn't no. Know, like, and, I, okay, and I'll tell you, because like you said, this also, it, it adds value to it because of how sadistic this person is, how crazy and psychotic. What are you trying to do? Yeah. That's, that's what I mean by that. You are a sick individual. I don't even think I've ever heard anything like that. I mean, man, it's it's sad because this dude's got seven kids too, man. Mm-hmm. And so I, I was saying on the flip side, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, I feel so sorry for those girls. You know, I hope he... wouldn't mistreat his his kids or anything like that which i i the, it can be true two can go you know coexist he could be dr jekyll and mr hyde i 100 percent believe that yeah the two can coexist mm -hmm. but i think that i think the conversation but what's bugged out about this is because cassie started messing with him in what 04 03 03 04 or something uh probably like 05 05 06 and they had tw he had twins with yeah I, yeah uh, yeah i told you how so they were on the cover of essence which is really weird what, that, i remember that i remember that yeah you know you can't really pull that article up anywhere really yeah and that's been a minute unless you do like a, a deep dive but that link to in other places that had a link and you click it it does not take you to that article you gotta have because the in that copy. article also you have 
Diddy mentioned how Kim's father even said to him something about, you know, how he be with Kim off and on. And, you know, you keep giving her these babies, but you're not marrying her. Like, it, that's mm-hmm. disrespectful. That's irresponsible. They got the cover. They're not, not the, the cover, article. but they're not the article. <sighs> oh, I found the article. Okay, okay. Hold up. Nope. This is a newer article. Damn. This is, no, this is, got, don't, damn, you're right. That's weird to me. No, 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 no. So when I, if I click the picture of it, of them to uh, Diddy and um, Kim on the cover, it sends me to the to, article they... with his daughters. With him, the article with him and his daughters. The one that came out like in 2020, 2021 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like I'm clicking it now. It goes to Diddy's and daughters grace the cover of Essence. Yep. As he opens, but but if the, that's not the one I'm clicking on. Nope. I'm clicking on the one with him and Kim on the front. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, maybe we should tweet Essence about that. Yeah. And say, since y'all want to be messy, you know, answer this for us because we're just trying to understand because that makes no sense. Dang. We finna so, hold on. I got, go ahead, go get, keep going as I pull this up. Go no, ahead. and that's it. That's all. That's all. That's all. I just that is just messy. So you about to play the apology? You already know I am. You already know. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. But sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I had to go into rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. All right, as you as a PR person and had to take classes as I did as well in uh, undergraduate uh, affairs, um, this is the dumbest thing that you could advise your client to be doing. The yep. dumbest. Yep. The dumbest. So this is what I mean. This And, and this is not to uh, say that we would, we were looking to protect him. So if this was our agency... D, we would say, hey, we strongly advise you against this. I would not do this. This video is out and it is what it is. There's nothing that you could say or do that is going to change what the fuck this is. Because nope. if even if you sent this to us first, the first thing I'm going to say is this. Now, eight months ago, six, seven months ago, you put out a statement that we also told you not to put out. And you said that this girl was lying. You said that the things that not only was she lying, that the other people that have been coming toward you at you have been lying. Your attorney spoke out and said this, which we told you to tell them don't do. Like I'm paying you. You don't do that. You paid it. Again, there's nothing you can do that's going to change the past. Because you're trying to look to the future instead of looking to right now, right? Mm -hmm. And so, even in this video, why are you apologizing to me? Why are you saying, I'm sorry? Like, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But you said you, but that didn't happen. So, what is it? 
And then you don't even acknowledge, really, you don't acknowledge Cassie. You don't say, I've hurt people. I have done the work. And do I think that's possible? Yes. But the thing that makes me believe that you are lying as well is that you, you're how your eyes, you look a little soulless in your eyes to the time mm. frame of when Cassie filed that lawsuit. A mm -hmm. few days before the statute of limitations will be up for her to uh, sue you in civil court. Because the statute of limitations for her to press charges had expired while y'all were in a relationship. You were still likely harassing that girl based on that alone. And you sit here, I've I've done this, and y'all love niggas love going to God. It's, I I love <laughs> I love when y'all do this bullshit. Y'all are what's wrong with Christianity, and y'all know that. And it's 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 really bizarre that you say I've I've done this, I've done that. When people low key honestly have been talking and questioning your 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 integrity for a long time. And so you're only acknowledging this because this video got dropped at bare minimum. If you were going to do what the fuck you would wanted to do, which I'm pretty sure his publicist said, don't do, or they could have even been erratic. He could have been erratic and just did it. And then they just saw it and was like, what the That's fuck? That's a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent what would happen. Dom ain't no way. If, if I, if you sent that to us, I'm like, Hey, let me, we got to change his passwords. Yeah. We, he just not going to be able to get in this shit. He can go do it on another account and maybe log into another account that nobody yeah. will know that it's really him. He, he can't do it. If it's, we need to change his password. Yeah. Actually, we, should, we would have did that before when he started posting up the truth will come and all that. We should have took his passwords before. Yep. Then, during then, take, give me your password, Diddy. Yep. Give me your passwords. We're changing the passwords. But it's my personal. Nope. Give me your nope. password. You missed it. Give me your passwords. We'll give them back to you in a year. Yeah. You, everything that you posting sent through us from now on going forward period yeah and here's the weird thing is that we love that when people are because honestly if he was really sorry though dom he would have paid that girl her money up front before we would and we would have never known nothing about it yep if he was really sorry be like dude you know what I, I did do some fucked up shit to you Yep. You know what? Don't, here, here. Yep. This is like when a dude like, and I, mean, I don't, I don't want to conflate these and make these equal, but like, our our dude is doing a woman wrong and they divorce him or whatever. You be like, fuck it, take the fifty. Yeah. Because I was on some bullshit, or you you deserve this, and you know what? I did this, I did wrong, or maybe I didn't. I just want you to. I'm not even going to even stun on it. Take it. Yeah. Take yeah. it. No, that's real. And D I just take it. And 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 I and I know men that it's do, that do exactly that. Even 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 even, even after, in a regular relationship. <laughs> even in a reg yes, regular ass relationship. Like I I dated a, a guy one time, and he he looked out for his wife after they got divorced. Mm -hmm. He was like, "It's the least I can do." I wasn't always perfect. And also, he was just a really nice guy, but also, but it's like, I, I probably could have did right. I could have, I mm -hmm. could have treated her better. So, it just takes nothing to be a decent fucking human being. Yeah, act like it's so hard <laughs> to be kind to people. I can't what be really kind. be going on with y'all? So, I don't. I don't get it, but I get it though, because it's Diddy, man. All these breadcrumbs were out here for y'all for years, and y'all called me a hater. <laughs> I'm looking at all of y'all for years, friends, foes, all of y'all used to hate. Now, I'm going to give a story I've been wanting to give about Diddy that uh -huh. is transcendental. You know what? I was doing parties. We had an opportunity to get Diddy for a party. I beat me and declined it, and Cass was mad at me. This is back in 2011. Okay. 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 I was gone. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 But I mean, but <laughs> it would have been crazy because 
Low key, one of the biggest parties in St. Louis history was when Diddy did the all white party at the pageant back in like oh two, oh three. Okay. It was like crazy. Like mm -hmm. people was paying four, five hundred dollars to get in. It was stupid at the pageants. You got to think about the whole people was dancing in the aisles of the damn the damn thing. So like it was like a for yeah, real yeah, crazy party. Yeah. And you got to think this is Diddy on top. Shit, the fucking bad boys for not bad boys for bad boys for life. Shake your tail feather. All that shit was out then. So yeah. he was Diddy of the most Diddy. But 2011, I remember a couple of I'm not gonna name name those individuals on here on the podcast, but they know who they are. They listen. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no man, I'm not doing no business with him. He gonna try. I didn't, I wasn't even talking about. I didn't know, and I didn't know about this abuse stuff with women. I just was like, he gonna try to do us dirty. I just was like, he gonna try to do us dirty. You got to do, tell him no. Yeah, it's gonna be something dirty. He gonna get here and say, I need thirty crystal bottles, or I ain't coming out. Something that's gonna be. It just, I just seen the track record. I didn't need to be doing business with that man in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm speaking to all y'all that was involved with that. He's like, I saw this train ride coming from I a mile saw away. This. I didn't know the abuse. I'm not going to say that. I, I'm not that clairvoyant. I didn't know he was not a dastardly uh, individual. You know. You know, sometimes, you, you know, you just feel uh, feel certain things about people. You And we, we can pick up on different <laughs> different energy. And so you're just like, I know this could be good for business. And, and really elevate, you know, what we got going on. But it's no. Yeah, I was just like, it was just not gonna be a good look. I mean, it would have been a good, great look. I'm not let me take take that back. Been a great look, but I just felt like something would have could have went wrong and we would have got played somehow dealing with that man. And maybe not. It could have maybe been a beautiful thing, and that and then you'd have been having pictures of me, people posting pictures of me and Diddy online, like look at D hanging out with Diddy. And then I, you know, then I gotta get online here on this podcast here and explain myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's interesting, and I think I, even what I I just said about well Diddy and, and and how he's like, you know, you know I I you know I talk to God and blah 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 blah, but Umar Johnson said something. <laughs> Do you have a picture? Because I, I I got it. I got no, it. Right go ahead, go I, I I forgot to pull put that up. I mean, uh, pull okay. that uh, that picture. <laughs> okay. So Dr. Umar said. I'm not going to give this too much energy as we have far more important issues to address than what happened 10 years ago. However, this isn't the end for Diddy. T.D. Jakes will help him set up his own mega church. He will be saved and baptized and will probably make more money as a pool pimp pimp than ever as a mogul. Puffy will arise from the ashes. Born, hashtag born again. And people are not understanding hey, 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 umar is one of the best comedians like he, might be he the really best is <laughs> but i think i think that that's people are are missing what he's saying here because people are looking at this at that post like it is in support of diddy and what he's he's not saying that he is saying what we see always happen like look at the situation with shia labeouf right mm -hmm. and for the people listening that might not know who Shia LaBeouf is, Shia LaBeouf was a Disney kid. He was in Even Stevens. He was in Holes. He went on to star in Transformer, mm -hmm. along with a host of other movies, right? He's dating, he was dating FKA Twigs, this uh, black girl, British singer, kind of weird. She was Doja Cat before Doja Cat was out. Mm -hmm. um, she was dating him for a while where he abused her. And she's been in court suing him for years and they keep pushing this court case back he has beat her ass so bad where others have intervened like he beat her one time at a gas station where people had to stop him from jumping on her damn and he has acknowledged that oh i did her wrong or whatever but like you said she was suing him and like you said you could have just gave her you know paid her some money or whatever and not that that is going to eliminate or delete the memories out of you. She says she he beat her so bad and uh, physically, emotionally, that her brain is rewired. Damn. She has PTSD from this man. And not to mention that he gave her an incurable STD. 
Woo. So I want people to walk with me here and understand what Umar is saying. He said, so Shia appeared at on a red carpet yesterday or the day before yesterday, right? And so everybody's like, oh my God, it's been such a long time. He was good, blah, 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 blah. Why are we praising this man? You, you couldn't be me. Y'all couldn't let me on the red carpet. Because <laughs> I would be, they just pushed her, that girl court case back again. Because I'm not going to say, okay, so why does your attorney keep asking for a continuous on this case? Is that you guys are hoping that ultimately she will drop her, she and her attorneys will drop what happened? Why don't you just go and face the music? It ain't like you're going to jail. Yeah. I mean, he might be. Hey, y'all, if you like what you see here on Everyone Needs an Aquarius, be sure to hit that button right there. It'll take you to more clips and be sure to like, subscribe and share our podcast. See you back next time.